My name is Josh Barnhart and I am the state cultivation manager. Started as a post harvest lead. A few months went by and the opportunity came about for the cultivation manager and I put in for it and got the role and haven't looked back since. Hi, my name is Julie and I'm cultivation supervisor here at Camp Verde facility. I love it. This is my dream come true. I worked down the street and I drove by and I saw them building this building and I said, I'm pretty sure I know what that is and I want to be there. You know, Harvest of Camp Verde is a 35,000 square foot greenhouse facility with a little over three acres of outdoor grow. We are at full capacity harvesting 800 plants per week. That's 800 plants per week in the greenhouse. We do two full crops for outdoor grow, you know, usually ranging from 1,000 to 2,000 plants per outdoor crop. But this facility produces anywhere from 100 to 160 pounds weekly. My background was in management, so running the place was fairly easy. Figuring out the plants and how they grew was the more difficult part. Everything I know about cannabis I learned at Harvest from working with the plants, employees, consultants, learning different parts of how the plant grows and its environment and what it likes, what it doesn't like. I grew up playing with my dad's pot seeds in his tray. It's always been something that I, you know, kind of been around and one of my kids had some serious medical issues and he was one of the first 75 kids in the state of Arizona, under 18, when the medical law passed to get approved for a medical card. And I was his caregiver. When I saw how much that helped better than what we were dealing with before, I went, hmm, okay, this is something I can get behind. So I started taking horticulture classes at the college and with the full intention of working here before it ever even became what it was. We don't just cultivate plants here, we cultivate our people. So employees is what makes Harvest great. It's really the people that make Harvest what it is. Cannabis industry is, is growing exponentially fast. It's, it's really remarkable where we're at, what we're able to be a part of. For me, the best part about growing is just knowing what kind of impact we're making in people's lives. You know, there are a ton of benefits associated with cannabis and and certain different ailments in people's lives. So knowing that we're making a difference, we don't always get to see that difference being made, but we hear the stories and the good that come from what we're doing. So that kind of keeps us, keeps us going and as long as we know we're making a difference. My favorite part about growing is seeing one of the babies that I had my hand on that seed very first growing into something that we actually put into production. That's my favorite part of it, is watching that whole process and knowing that every single step of that process is something that I've done, and now it's in bulk production out in the greenhouse. I love the clones. Ever since I started taking care of the clones, that's been my pride and joy, basically, is right here. The clones and the new genetics. Those are the things that I really enjoy doing. The new genetics are the seed plants that we pop. So we're always looking for the next big strain, the next good strain. And it takes a lot of time. Well, Josh and I go through and pick out, oh, let's, that seed looks cool, let's grow that one. And so we start the seeds and then we plant them, which are what are up there, is our next batch of new genetics. And then it's about what, a four month process before we ever get them out to flower. Because we have to grow them up from seed and then we get them this tall, cut clones off of them, plant those clones, and then once they're old enough, we can send them out to flower and see how they do. And if they do well, then we can say, oh, let's cut, you know, a tray and see how the process goes. You know, harvest has been pretty life-changing for me. If somebody would have asked me three years ago if I'd be growing cannabis, you know, I would, I would have kind of looked at them a little funny. Now that I am growing cannabis and I am a part of harvest, there's no other place that I would rather be. Harvest is 
the future for me. It's my future, it's my family's future, my son's future, and I think it's the future for a lot of people. We will just do nothing but continue to improve our processes and get better. We're learning things every day, how to trim better, how to prune better, how to make the plants happier and healthier, and I don't see that slowing down at all because we're all committed to making sure that that happens and that we just keep getting better. And so far we've, we've done exactly that and we'll keep doing that.